Hello there, this is JD here from Studio 2105 and Direct Access Big Stream Online. In this tutorial video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I do the vocal thickening trick in Cubase using stock plugins. If you're new to the channel, a warm welcome to you. Uh, do take a moment to head on down and click on the subscribe button below and also click on the notification bell so that you'll be updated every time I upload a brand new video, okay? A video tutorial such as this, my weekly update Wednesday videos, song breakdown videos, and also the mixed stream live streams, which I usually do on a Friday night. Now, for those of you who've been watching the mix streams especially, uh, you'll know that every time, whenever it comes time to uh, mix the vocals, to work with the vocals, I quite often use a method that's called the vocal thickening trick. Now, this is something which I learned from uh, watching Warren Hewitt's channel, right? Warren Hewitt of Produce Like a Pro. I use this method almost all the time when I'm dealing with um, with vocals, okay? In my mix stream episodes, I use a plugin uh, called Doubler, which is from Waves. Okay, let me show you uh, where what it is. This one, Doubler 2 Stereo. So what this does is that it's a combination of, um, uh, obviously, as the name implies, it's a doubler. You could double maybe two and up to maybe four voices as well. Um, you could pan it. You can add delay. You can put some feedback. You can also, right, um, detune it and put some sort of a modulation. And also, you can also EQ it as well. So, you know, it's a combination of a delay. It's a combination of chorusing, of the detuning, pitch shifting, and also has having a built-in EQ, right? So it's really, really powerful. Now, so what I do is I will um, route the lead vocal, all right, into the uh, plugin and... Uh, I would set, for example, uh, a detuned value of plus three on one side and minus three on the other. And then I will export the, the resulting effect, okay? M making sure that it's 100% wet effect down as an audio track, okay? Um, why do I export it as an audio track? Why, why don't we just keep it at the plugin and, and just run the effect through it? Now, for me, um, I think the rationale or the reason why, okay, um, we want to export it and bounce it down as a vocal track is that it kind of gives us a little bit more of uh, flexibility later on. It's a lot easier to further EQ or automate or, or, or do stuff to the um, the double effect track, all right, once it's bounced down, once it's exported to an audio track, okay? So although it takes a little bit more time, well, I feel that it's worth the, um, it's, it's worth the effort, it's worth the time taken, right? Just because of the amount of flexibility that, that it gives um, you as the mix mixer later on so let me just very quickly kind of show you now as i mentioned this is actually repeated right a total of four times you can take a look here so it's repeated a total of four times so what i end up with is like um, the first set okay or the first track that's uh, exported from doubler is a plus three minus three okay and we repeat it uh, three more times right the second time around we go minus six and plus twelve and why, if you notice, all right, I switch around the uh, positive and negative values of the uh, pitch shifting, the detuning, all right, separately. So, right, so for the first one, plus three is on the left, minus three is on the right. The second one, we go to minus six on the left and plus six on the right. The reason we do that is that if you kind of keep your positive values, right, your positive, uh, positive meaning, tuning it sharp, only on one side and your negative values, right? Meaning that you're tuning it flat on the other side, you're gonna get a weird sounding uh, a vocal which is kind of skewed sharp to one side and flat on the other. That's gonna sound really, really weird. So what you wanna do is you want to even it out. So um, when it gets to the next one, you switch around, right? Your, your uh, detuning, right? So next one you go to would be plus nine on the left, right? The minus nine on the right. And finally, it will go to a minus 12 on the left and a plus 12 on the right, as you can sort of see here, okay? You can detune, change the detune values, right? All the way from uh, plus minus 3 all the way to um, plus minus 12. Now, um, we don't go beyond that because I think if you start going beyond that, if you start um, going above this, it starts to get a little bit sounding a little bit 
out of tune uh, and um, this will oh, unless you're kind of going for some kind of special effect usually this is not what you wanna it kind of goes a little bit way to sounding too out of tune already all right let's take a quick listen to how this effect sounds okay all right um this is using waves doubler two your love lifted me from distress I was lost in my mess This is with And you gave me new breath This is without Love amazing, unyielding too I would have died without you This is with again But your love brought me through all right, so uh, in the mix that I have, this is a little bit subtle. So let me try and sort of uh, maybe exaggerate it a little bit so that you can hear how it sounds, okay? So let's bring up all the doubler tracks, which are down here. Okay. Your love lifted me from distress. Right. So this is definitely... Um, I was lost in my... Right? This is definitely a little bit more obvious, a little bit more clear where if you're watching this. So... But in the mix, right, in the context of the mix with all the rest of the musical instruments, right, and the other vocals and, and the, the rest of the track, this is probably a little bit too much. So uh, you just want to balance it in. You blend in the double tracks, right, just to give the vocal a little bit sense of uh, fatness, a little bit more stereo width, right, and a little bit more sort of airiness as well. So that is the uh, kind of the vocal thickening trick, right, in a nutshell. Now, uh, what if you don't have, you see, you know, a, a plug-in suite or a plug-in bundle, for example, like the one from Waves, okay? Right, so what you can do, you can also do this trick, all right, um, using uh, stock plugins, all right? Uh, for example, in this situation, I'm going to kind of demonstrate how I do it, right, in Cubase. So first of all, let's mute this. And what I've uh, prepared over here, okay, is couple of uh, stock plugins that come in with Cubase, okay? So, first one I have is the stock plain old chorus. Now, um, before before we go into that, now Cubase actually has a plugin here that actually does this job already, okay? All right, uh, which is called Cloner. So Cloner, as you can see, right, it also splits your vocal into four voices, right? And uh, you can also do things like humanize the timing, play around with the stereo width, the um, uh, the amount of a delay, the amount of detune as well. So it's really cool. So this is already a itself a stock plugin in Cubase, okay? Now, um, maybe let's take a quick listen to how this sounds. Let me route this over to the um, effect itself. Let's take a listen to this section, right? So this is just the lead vocal alone, right? Going into... Uh, Cloner, right? That's in in Cubase. Your love lifted me from distress. I was lost in my mess. Okay, I bring down the humanized value a little bit. No love amazing, unyielding too. So cool, right? It kind of gives you that uh, similar effect as well, all right? So if you're a Cubase user, uh, you can also kind of explore this. All right, so let's take a look, okay, at how we're going to do this if we just have, let's say, a stock chorus plugin, okay? So let's take a look. Now, uh, what I've done here is I've just called up a preset in here, a simple preset, right, which is called Wide Backing Vocals, because why not, okay? And let's just take a listen to how it sounds like. Your love lifted me from distress. I was lost in my mess. Okay, all right. So this is kind of what, um, pretty much what you expect from a chorus effect, okay? You know, it gives a little bit of stereo widening, okay? And, uh, and uh, just a little bit more dimension to the vocal. But this is not really... Um, as rich or as thick sounding, okay, as the uh, the vocal thickening method that I'm using using um, cloner, which I showed you earlier, or uh, as I do in my mixes, right, with uh, waves doubler. So what we need to do here, the trick is that is that we need to introduce, right, firstly, a little bit of you know, a little bit of um, extra modulation to it. And how do we do this, right? So firstly, what we need to change is maybe the pitch, 
right? So now every DAW would have a, some kind of method, right, to sort of um, change the pitch of their clips, right? In Cubase, you can pretty much do it right in here in the info line. Just uh, sort of select the audio events that you um, want to pitch shift that we want to process. In this case, the same section that we heard. And let's fine tune this. Let's go, let's say maybe, all right, let's go say, let's say five, okay? Let's go five and let's export this. Okay, chorus, let's call this chorus plus five. Make sure that it's the correct file path, file format. Now, if you are, um, if your DW has it, all right, have the option to sort of um, immediately create that file and import that file back in your project, all right, have it do so. This will save you a little bit of time, okay? So let's go. This is going to be exported through the chorus effect. And here we go. This is the first one, all right? So we're going to repeat this process another three times, all right? Let's go with another value, let's say, the next one let's pitch this guy let's pitch the vocals down let's say minus five this time round okay now for the next one um you would want to introduce not only the pitch shift but maybe a little bit of delay as well okay now this uh plugin in uh, the chorus plugin inside uh, uh cubase has a bit of a delay, has a, a delay setting in here, so you can sort of delay it a little bit later. Let's bring it up to, say, 35 milliseconds, okay? Right, 30 milliseconds, okay? That's kind of the furthest that, furthest that it'll go. So uh, the important thing, right, is that you want to have some variation between each of the uh, um, uh, tracks which you're going to export, because otherwise, if they're too similar, they're too close to each other, what tends to happen is that, you know, they tend to sort of cancel each other out. You, you get a kind of a very, very phasey sound instead of getting a thick vocal, all right? So which is kind of counterproductive to what you want to achieve. So let's try this. Okay, let's export this one. Chorus minus five this time around. Here we go. Okay, that's the second one and it's done. And let's go with the next one. Let's bring this up to, let's say, plus 10, okay? All right, plus 10. Let's play around with the delay again. Let's go, let's say this time, a little bit shorter, 15 milliseconds, and export, chorus, plus 10. Okay, plus, here we go. Oops, over here. Plus 10, export audio. And for the last one, okay, let's do the same thing, right? Let's put in a little bit more of a delay as well. And let's see, okay. Let's go with, let's say 25, about 25.6 milliseconds. And the, let's pitch shift this down minus, let's go a little bit further than maybe minus 12, okay? All right. Export, chorus, minus 12. All right, let's take a listen then to how it sounds, all right? So once this is done, let's route the lead vocal back to the lead vocal bus, all right? The lead vocal group. Same thing, okay, here we go. Let's bring these guys up so that it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so here we go. These are the four uh, exported chorus tracks. Let's take a listen of these chorus uh, tracks, right? right? The so-called double tracks on its own. See how it sounds like. All right, okay. This is a little bit soft, so maybe I need to turn the, the gain up on, on these a little bit. Let's go, let's say maybe 6 dB up, All right? Let's copy it over so that it's a little bit easier for you guys to listen, right? While you're, while you're watching this. Let's uh, listen to it again. Solo the chorus. I 
I was lost in my mess, and you gave me new breath. All right, okay. So this is kind of a little bit more closer to what we got earlier with Waves Doubler and uh, the Cloner, right? Okay, so let's blend it in with the lead vocal. Let's, let's see how it sounds like. Okay, lead vocal, and let's play it back. Your love lifted okay, me let's blend from all these in. distress. I was lost in my mess, and you gave me new breath. All right, okay. So, yep. Um, this is kind of how it sounds like. It's kind of similar. It's obviously a different flavor. Uh, to me, to my ears, it's still not as rich and not as... Uh, uh, and it's not as thick as you know employing right the other methods and earlier methods as I mentioned to you well what you can probably do again you can always add you know a little bit more um, effects to it you can probably play around if you can mess around the different parameters right maybe for each of these uh, exports the four the four tracks that we bounce out maybe you change the speed of the chorus right or maybe you add maybe a flanger right or maybe a phaser instead of using a chorus right mix this up uh, add some additional delay you know pitch shift a little bit more right right go crazy be a little bit creative right the key point is that you want to try and introduce as much variation as much possible right between the four tracks right the four um doubler tracks right in this case right so that you can um, so you can thicken the main vocal, you can make it sound thicker, a little bit wider, you know, frequency range wise as well. You can make it a little bit more um, uh, richer, especially in the top end. Um, but not so much right now, uh, as I mentioned, right, if you don't introduce all those delays, the differences, what it ends up is that, you know, they start to be, uh, they start to sort of you know, have a little bit of phase cancellation, they start to cancel each other out. and that gets to be counterproductive, okay, right, to what you are trying to achieve. So, all right, hopefully um, this short little tutorial will uh, kind of uh, shed a little bit like on uh, what I talk about every time when I uh, right, um, share and every time I uh, show the uh, vocal thickening trick. All right, um, during my mixing episodes, do tune in right uh, in the future, or you can always go back right to my channel and watch the previous episodes, okay, of mix stream uh, live streams, which I usually do on Friday nights, okay. So, now if you found this video helpful and informative, right, uh, please do leave a like, um, do share this with your friends if you can, um, and if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, all right, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in another video in the future. Till then, right? Happy recording and mixing. Take care. Bye bye.